Hey guys, it's me, Roy. Today is Wednesday. It's the middle of the week, and I just wanted to create another video, just tell you guys how my week has been. So we are in the middle of a pandemic. Everyone's required to wear a mask in public spaces, and it's just definitely an awakening almost. Something I was thinking about earlier in the car as I was driving here was the devil has definitely robbed me from my growth and my time and my commitment to God. My commitment to my family and friends, my commitment to my goals that I had um, from the beginning of high school. And I'm not gonna blame it on the devil. I'm not gonna blame it on, you know, spiritual forces or external forces or like distractions of the world. I'm not gonna blame it on anybody. Something that has to change is just the choices that I'm making. But, you know, sin is always going to be knocking at the door and I just need to flee from sin. I need to ignore it. I need to, like, run from it. I need to, like, just take it out of my life because I've... Evil is just wrecking my life, dude. It is really hard to, you know, especially in this world where... The world is just leaving God, like the world is moving away from God, um, even though everything that's happening in this world clearly shows that God is real and God is coming back, Jesus is coming back. Um, and I think that's part of the reason why I'm just getting serious with myself, I'm getting serious with um, my life, and, I've, and, I'm, and I'm still struggling, but I definitely want to trust God completely um, who can you trust like you can't trust yourself like with all the, the things that you're putting inside your body I mean, and not just drugs but like the TV shows that you're watching the influences um, that is surrounding you TV shows and music like really wake up and it's actually like you can't even ask yourself what you're watching because you're gonna tell your own self that it's just music, it's just entertainment, it's just this, it's just that, it's not gonna hurt, it never hurt me. But why is there cancer in this world? Why is there addiction? Why is there like people dying, homelessness? Why Why are you lying all, some, sometimes or all the times? Why are you inhaling something to change your mindset or to influence you? Why are you like, why are you into yourself? Why are you... Why do you gain confidence from your body? Like why, are you, why do you gain confidence from the things that you wear? And all these, all these things are things that I struggle with. Um, all, all, and more or less, like, I'm growing out of it and I've been, and I'm just really um, thankful that I'm able to see that and this is this isn't to judge people because I'm human too we're all human like I'm not judging you I'm I'm judging myself basically God is judging me God is the only one who can um, judge people because he doesn't struggle with these things and there has to be if you don't believe in God if you're an atheist there has to be somebody who's perfect there has to be somebody something that is perfect like you're, you're standing on this planet right and you're saying there's no god like does that make sense that doesn't make any sense and you're and some people their explanation is that um it's the big bang theory or it's a universe like okay who created the big bang theory like if you're saying it's evolution we came from monkeys or whatever or bugs or reptiles then who created those Okay, like you need, and the only explanation is God. But I like these conversations. I like talking about it. In the past, I've definitely fed my flesh. Just since high school, it's just been toxic um, feeding the flesh. But now, I want to feed my spirit. I want to feed my mind, like the brain that I have in my skull. I want to, I want to feed it with knowledge, and I want to um, just learn. You know. I want to learn. I don't want to waste any more time. I don't think there's even time to waste. So 
so I moved to another spot because there were bugs. I think there were bees or wops, wasps, wops, um, some type of bee. And I was already, I started getting bitten or bitten. So as you watch my videos, you'll see that I have an accent or I don't know how to speak English properly. Um, well, get used to that because I don't want to tell you, man. I just need to really read more. It's my favorite book in the Bible so far is Job. It just tells an amazing story about you know him losing everything that he has, and um, God just allowing the devil to strip him from everything that he has to really see if Job is a, um, a faithful servant. And at the end, he does. He is faithful, and he does. You know come to a conclusion that God is, God knows all things and everything that God does is for a greater purpose. It's encouraging to know that God has so many things planned for us and you know we don't have to worry about um, what's happening, what's gonna happen in the future because God is in control and we have to remind ourselves that every day because life comes in and really increases our anxieties. Job was just a perfect example for someone who just struggles. Someone who has been stripped from everything. Someone who has lost his family, his you know, friends, his farm, whatever, his animals, his crops, and still he, he didn't know really like said you know what forget about God like I'm gonna do whatever I want he didn't say that he trusted in him so um, and the Bible the Bible has so many cool stories like those and just incredible people that gone through so many things and still remain faithful and still God remained faithful to faithful to them you can't find that in this world and if you do that person will still make a mistake and God does not make mistakes and that's encouraging to know that there's a God that um, that is like that another scripture that has been stuck in my head or that I memorized that I've just meditated on is my heart and my flesh may fail but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. And I encourage you guys to, you know, really meditate on that scripture and repeat it over and over again because with that scripture, my flesh does fail me and my heart does fail me, but God is my strength and my portion forever. And that's amazing to just know that he's my other half. He's my, you know, he's this other half that you can't find in this world and you know, I struggle so much with my flesh, but um, I don't want to lose God. Like, I don't want to lose him. I do not want to lose Jesus Christ because I don't want to live in darkness. I don't want to live in addiction. I don't want to live in sadness and in, in doubt and in just doing the same things every day of my entire life. Like, I've done so many bad things to my body and to and it's like I'm fe it's like why and it's like every time I do it I don't want to stop but at the same time a part of me does and that does not make any sense but the things in the spiritual doesn't make sense and we just need to accept that but I better get down because it's getting dark but I'll definitely um, talk more about it. Dear God, forgive us for our bad thoughts, our evil desires, our actions, Lord. Forgive us for our disobedience, God. Please, Lord, have mercy on us, Lord. Please, through your grace, Lord, through your patience, Lord. I pray that we become more serious with you, Lord. We trust in you, God, and we put our faith in you, Lord. We love you first, and we love um, one another, God. We love each other as ourselves. We love our neighbors, God. 
God, this is the time that we need to just seek you with all of our heart, soul, and mind, Lord. I pray for all my friends and family, homeless people, people in prison, people who are struggling with addiction, God. I pray that your will will be done for them, God. I'm tired of sin. I'm tired of being addicted to just things that are destroying my mind, destroying my body, destroying my lungs, destroying my mind, God. I'm tired of being a prison in the things that are in this world, the things that don't really fulfill me, Lord God. Please, Lord, help me to be the man that you created me to be. Help me to share your word with everyone, Lord. Help me to sh to build faith, build courage, Lord, to stand for you, God. I pray that I will not renounce you. I pray that I will not deny you, God. Not deny your name, Lord, when time comes, Lord, when, when I'm being persecuted or when Christians are starting to be persecuted, Lord God. Help me, Lord. Please, God, help me. Give me a grant me a sincere heart. Grant us a sincere heart to serve you, Lord. Grant us obedience. Grant us wisdom, Lord, so that we can know, Lord. Grant us patience and understanding to spend time reading your word, God, and to um, worship you, to find ways and to use the gifts that you have given us to worship you, Lord. Amen. Bloop.